Chocks and Chuckets living between Chucklebirds here for another video review. It's a very special one, but they always are. <laughs> it's a new Kit Kat inspired by Milk Choc Chunk Cookie. Byron Bay Cookies, yes. So uh, I think presumably quite, you know, well, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure this is an Australian import, basically. Byron Bay, this, that and the other. It looks very nice, doesn't it? So basically, um, yeah, Kit Kat inspired by a cookie. And why not? And why not? So it looks very nice, doesn't it? There's a massive bar as well. It's not your typical Kit Kat. It's a sort of... I don't know, multiple thing of Kit Kat. But we've seen these before, some Spanish imports we've had and some other Australian ones as well. 170 grams worth of Kit Kat, yeah. So it's basically, I don't know, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 13 or 14 fingers worth, something like that. We'll find out, of course, but yeah. So, pretty nice. You can see the insides as well look pretty good. See the wafer looks to be chocolate wafer, maybe a dark chocolate cream in the middle as well. Kind of, I don't know. Yeah, it just looks very indulgent as well for a Kit Kat, really does. Yeah, so let's have a see. What's it say on the uh, the back? We've got any any kind of uh, description inspired by Baron Bay Cookies, Milk Chocolate Chunk Cookie. Kit Kat Chocolate Chunk, Milk Chocolate 47%, Wafer Fingers 24%, White Chocolate, White Chocolate 28%, Cookie Crumb 1%. Mm. So we didn't get the proper description because it's been covered over by this. I have attempted to take these labels off in the past. Um, it's almost impossible, they just come off very poorly, so I'm not going to try and do that. But I think you get the gist of what the ingredients are. Now, um, in Australia, they do give you the calories put in kilojoules rather than kilocalories, which makes it a bit difficult to convert, but it's roughly a quarter. So, service per package 11, so presumably it's 11 fingers actually, maybe I counted too many. Um, serving size 15.5 grams, one row, 340 kilojoules, 4.5 grams of fat, 2.5 which are saturates. Then put 100 grams, 220 kilojoules, 28.8 grams of fat, 16.1 of which is saturated. So it's roughly a quarter, so 550 calories per 100 grams, roughly, per serving, roughly, what's that? I don't know, 16, 20, 32, 85 calories, roughly, divide 340 by 4, roughly, anyway. We've got the ingredients here. Got any palm. Oil in there, can't see a palm fat, can't see any. It might have, but I can't see any. No, I don't think it does though, I don't think it does. This is the bottom. Um, product contains 47% milk chocolate, 24% wafer fingers, 28% white choc, and 1% cookie crumb. So not too, too bad. About 52, 53, yeah, it does add up to 100. Milk chocolate contains minimum 22% cocoa solids and 25% milk solids. Good to talk. Get in touch in Australia, New Zealand. There you go. Break society. Okay. So I'm just assuming that's some kind of uh, social scheme they've got going on. Cocoa Plan, Rainforest Alliance, 100% sustainable source cocoa. Working with Rainforest Alliance to support cocoa farmers and their communities. I'd always uh, check out what 100% sustainable source actually means because um, it's a bold claim to be 100%. We'll see if they've cooked the books a bit to achieve that. <laughs> Might not have done, of course, but, you know, I would um, always be dubious of such a claim. Recycling wrappers in store. So we've got in-store recycling again. I still don't quite get that, why it's in-store and not at home. If you just have been, don't have the capabilities to recycle at home, perhaps maybe that's what it is. At least you recycle them with the, with the sort of, you know, the reusable bags that you can... Well, they say reusable ones that when you the bags for life and things, but when they come to the end of their life, they can be recycled. I think that's what you do, but you can't recycle them at home for some reason. Maybe you should be able to. Mm. Well, I'd say that. It's already, it's already difficult enough to recycle everything, isn't it? But you know what I mean. All right, well, there we go. So it's got a nice uh, open and reclose pack as well. Peel open, it says. Share and reclose. Look under there, no. There we go. There's white chocolate involved, but it looks to be white chocolate that's been, I don't know, Coloured or something. No portions, one row, one serve. Okay. Well, good to remember, chocolate blocks are perfect for sharing. Break off one row for a delicious treat and share re close to save for later. <laughs> That's why I always try and make it so you eat it all, you know. Mm. But, well, I guess it's fair enough, isn't it? But you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't make them small or anything like that. It's like massive chocolate bars. All right, well, I think we need to give this an open then. So let's do it. Let's give it an open. Okay then everyone, give this uh, new Kit Kat inspired by Milk Chocolate Chunk Cookie from Byron Bay Cookies an open. Yeah, it looks very interesting, doesn't it? It looks very exciting. So, um, yeah, looking forward to opening this one. Massive Kit Kat bar. There's a bit of flourishes going on there. You can see each one clearly at least a finger, a finger and a half. So, I think, I think there's presumably 11 fingers in here from what I've gathered. So, if we clearly fit in at least two more, if not four more by the looks of it. <laughs> there we go, always away. 
usually these voices do uh, mean that there's extra room in there but you know it's got to be I understand the point of it sometimes it just to give you a bit of extra space or the ability to open it but it's more convenient than anything else for them to make it look bigger than it actually is so there we go all right Okay, let's give it an open then. So time I've done I've had 960, 970 reviews, believe it or not. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. And I'll try to call into place of all my other reviews, well some related ones, other Kit Kat ones, other Australian reviews. Yeah, other related ones, that's a big job. I don't know any Byron Bay reviews other than this, but if I ever do, I'm sure they'll be there as well. <laughs> Have to watch this video and uh, I'll say click the like button and subscribe. Go check those out. I think we're too. Oh wow, look at this. It looks very nice, doesn't it? Look at that. Wow. Mm. Quite grey, I think you'd say, actually. <laughs> it does look interesting, but quite grey. Um, you know. Oh, not bad, I guess. Yeah, it looks a bit like it does on the front. Looks a bit grey at first, but it's that sort of pinky brown. Yeah, it's okay. It's white chocolate that's been coloured, I think. It does describe itself as white chocolate on the back. Um, you might have seen before. Let's say down there. Which contains 47% milk chocolate, 24% wafer, fingers, 28% white chocolate, and 1% cookie crumbs. So 28% white chocolate, basically. There should be 11 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then there is. There we go. Because it looks pretty good. You can see it's got the Kit Kat logo or writing or whatever on there, branding. It shines. It's pretty good. It looks a bit like a, <laughs> looks a, bit like a tiled floor, doesn't it, really, there? Oh, nice, actually, I wouldn't mind having my floor made of chocolate. Well, I'll say that. Wonderful heating wouldn't work so well, would it? But, uh, <laughs> but it's certainly very tasty. Okay. Well, perhaps eating your floor is not the best uh, not the best thing to do. There you go. You see your fingerprints on the bottom. No, I'll touch it a bit, but there we go. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Pretty standard kick out size. Got the sort of partition in halves there as well, so you can split it in half, which is pretty good. Um, hmm. Pretty good, actually, pretty good. So let's give it a bit of a measure. I think we'll use the old measuring stick for it. 19 centimetres, pretty much spot on actually. And we've got nine, nine and a half. So 19 centimetres by nine and a half. Now, of course, it's, uh, yeah, the top of it though, <laughs> not quite straight, so let's see. So it's now about 18.4 and about nine. So you lose about half a centimetre away, basically, roughly. It'll be just over in the, uh, in one of the dimensions. And the height, About 1.2 between them, about 5.5 almost. Okay, there we go, yeah. Looks very interesting, let's just give it a snap. There we go. And there we are, this. Yeah, so there we go, look at that. Yeah, it looks very nice, doesn't it, that? It's got a bit of a sloped affair going on there, I think you'd definitely say. There we go, look at that. It's a bit lovely, uh, yeah, lovely middle there, sort of dark chocolate wafer, or chocolate wafer at least, not regular wafer, and a dark chocolate cream in the middle, presumably. A mix of white and milk chocolate, it's not that sort of crumb or, yeah, brittle, well not brittle, but just crumbly micro bits in there that seems to be. Mm. Yeah, looks very nice, doesn't it? Looks very nice indeed. You can see on the top as well, that little micro crumbs as well. Yeah, looks very interesting, looks very nice. Yeah, I don't know what it describes itself as. Yeah, the wafer, I think it just says it's wafer, doesn't it? I don't know if it's described as chocolate wafer or anything like that. It just says wafer fingers. Mm. All right, well, there we go. Okay, well, if we need to give this a taste, looks very nice, looks very interesting. But does it taste nice? Let's find out. Let's give it a taste. Okay, then, everyone, I'm going to give this a uh, new Kit Kat uh, inspired by Milk Choc Chunk Cookie from Byron Bay Cookies, a uh, taste. Yeah, so I'm presuming that must be their best cookie, or I don't know if there's a few of us in this range, I'm not sure. But either way, I think you get the, uh, the gist. So um yeah, mm, right, so we've got um we've opened it earlier, so we've got it was an eleven fingered bar, massive chunky one, but we did snap a few off here. <laughs> and you snap down the centre as well, which is quite nice. So yeah, so I think they're pretty good. You can see there that it's got um well more or less you can see there actually, it's a bit hard to see even then. I don't know, <laughs> maybe the other side's a bit better. Yeah, I don't know. It looks a bit better, easier to discern before. Well basically it's got a bit of a chocolate cream in which may be a bit darker than all, but definitely a dark Darker wafer than a chocolate wafer. Lots of sort of micro bits in there as well. And a cookie crumb. I think it describes it as on the uh, the wrapper. Milk chocolate, wafer fingers, white chocolate, and 1% cookie crumb. There we go. All right, well, without further ado, let's give it a taste. A nice half one here. So here's white chocolate on the top. And it's been kind of 
mixed in a bit to make it have that sort of darker look to it, but yeah, let's give it a taste, see what it's like. Let's do it. Mm. Wow, interesting. Um, yeah, it's crunch to it. Um, mm. Does it taste of cookie in any way? I guess um, it's kind of um, a sort of posh cookies and cream, basically, is the gist of it, isn't it? That's what I'm kind of discerning, but with a bit more cocoa, a bit more chocolate involved, rather than just the cream side. Hmm. Which is good, because normally these cookies and cream ones tend to just focus on the cream side of it. Hmm, so they've got a lot more white chocolate or, you know, hmm. Focus on the cream bit, but the, the white chocolate top is meant to sort of represent that in this case. And as you can clearly see, it's not massively white chocolatey. Hmm. I think even on the um, wrapper itself, it's like 28% white chocolate, I think. Yeah, 28% white chocolate. It's okay. Um, not blowing me away this one, you know. Uh, hmm. There's a bit of a sort of brownie taste to it almost, you know. Hmm, sort of. Hmm. Not the consistency, but the taste. It tastes a bit brownie like. Hmm. It's all right. I feel like the um, the cream part is kind of distracting from it, as as is always the case with these cookies and cream sort of affairs. Usually, anyway, it just seems to sort of pull away from the the sort of the, the chocolatiness of it. It's quite chocolatey other than that, but it's with the wafer and things. But that sort of white chocolate, I feel like, kind of detracts from it, because otherwise it's quite a nice indulgent chocolatey feeling. I say it almost gets the almost gets a sort of brownie taste right, almost. I say not the consistency, but the taste. Hmm. But you pulled away from that with that sort of white chocolate. Hmm. Nice crunch, but as I say, all the sort of chocolatiness of it, the chocolate wafer, the chocolate scent, the fact that it does come across a bit brownie like. It's just it's just made redundant by that sort of being counterbalanced by the white chocolate. So I could understand it because maybe the you know the cookie itself has white chocolate in it, I'm not sure. I assume it does. Or it's just representing the cookie. I don't know. Um, the cookie there seems to have raspberry pieces in it, I'm not sure. Don't really know. Hmm. Could just be the, an off chocolatey colour, maybe it's just the chocolate chips in them. Just look a bit red because of the. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know. I feel like it's, <laughs> it's its own worst enemy in a way. I just feel like the white chocolate part is just taken away from the, the intenseness and the intensity of the cocoa, the chocolatey taste that it's got elsewhere. That's really quite hard to achieve, actually. You know, it's really worked hard to achieve. It's why it's got that sort of, as I say, that cocoa wafer, the sort of darker chocolate cream, it seems, in the centre. You know, um, I can't taste any cookie brittle either. It might be there, you know, if in its absence I'd noticed, but yeah, I can't tell it, taste it particularly. Hmm. Just tasting the top a bit there. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, you could argue that yeah, it's nice to have the sort of white chocolate there to balance out the rest of it. But I think it just, as I say, really detracts from the intensity that the rest of the bars achieve for the chocolatey taste. Hmm. No, a bit of a shame that for me. Hmm. It's quite nice other than that, really, but for me, it doesn't really come across as a cookie like generally. I mean, every now and again, you get a bit of a taste that implies a bit of cookiness to it, but um, it doesn't have that cookie brittle that you know in it that sort of provides any kind of semblance of a cookie. I can't taste it, you know, it says it's got cookie pieces, one percent of which is well, one percent of one percent of the bar's cookie pieces, but I can't really taste that. It's very, uh, very subtle. What does it describe it as again? Cookie crumb, so you know, there's really you know, it's just those little speckles on it basically as far as I can tell but they're so minor you really can't taste those especially when you've got the wafer and things elsewhere in it that's kind of a lot more crunchy and a lot more present and a lot more sort of you know obvious you know what I mean so yeah I feel that's a complete waste of time really I feel like it's just I feel like they've I don't know I feel like unfortunately there's just things in it that's just detracting from the experience rather than adding to it you know and as I say that's mainly the the white chocolate I think just takes away from that intensity that it's got it might be trying to make it into a cookie taste but it doesn't really work for me and i think it as i say just detracts from the rest of it it mainly tastes like a brownie yeah which is not unpleasant i don't really feel like it tastes much of a cookie i don't know but but yeah anyway long story short it is nice actually it is nice but i just feel like the white chocolate you know works against it you know it achieves this really nice intense chocolate flavor but the white chocolate there just holds it back basically 
So yeah, which is a shame, but overall it's pretty nice. I love the wafer taste to it, but again, that sort of chocolate wafer, you can't really get the most of it because the white chocolate just detracts from it. That would be really nice, I think, you know, especially in things like, you know, sort of, you know, dark chocolate blue ribbons that I've had and have been really, really nice because of those sort of like dark chocolate wafers and things. It'd be interesting to see how this affected this Kit Kat, at least being chocolate wafer, but you can't tell, you know. So that's the problem with it, really. And you can't really taste any kind of cookie sort of crumb pieces or whatever it is. You know, they just you can't detect them. They're just too fine. And again, it might be down to the white chocolate. I don't know. But I think it's more the fact you've just got wafer in there as well, which is just as crunchy. But even though you expect to be able to taste it when you, you think you could taste little brittly bits, but you can't. So, mm. so I think it's just a bit... It's just the design's gone against it, really. But perhaps that's a typical limited edition. Limited edition ones tend to be like this, where... They're, they're okay, if you know what I mean, but probably not something you'd buy again. And I think, uh, you know, it is a limited edition, isn't it, I think? Um, well, it's not a limited edition, actually. It just says new, so I don't know. Might, I assume it's a limited edition one, though. I don't think it'll be there forever. I assume it's partnered with another brand, so they tend to be limited edition, those, don't they, really? So, hmm, I could be wrong. But, yeah, I think for me, this one, it's, it's nice, but it just has a few shortcomings, particularly by the fact that it's just some of the chocolates or some of the effects in the bar, some of the flavours or whatever just work against it really particularly the white chocolate and it just means you can't really enjoy the rest of it as well as you probably could if it wasn't there so but it's not bad all in all I think for me yeah it's got a nice crunch to it nice Kit Kat sort of you know <laughs> it's just it tastes like you know I like use better Kit Kat it's got the nice wafer crunch in there but I think the things that they've added into it you just can't really enjoy because of things like that white chocolate but it's not too too bad I think for me it's a three and a half or four I think probably, probably, it's not quite a four, so I'm going to stick with three and a half out of five. It is still nice, better than regular Kit Kat, I'd say, but not by as much as it should have been. That's held back by the white chocolate, so what would have otherwise been a four out of five has ended up being a three and a half out of five. There we go. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Check out YouTube and my promo as well. Link that's in the description as is the link for the Discord server. Click on these links that's been on the screen now. Great to support the channel by continuing to watch my content. Yeah, leave a comment or three. Always great to hear from you and always do the rest of the reply. Like and subscribe. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time.